Today, I want to show you how to set up the cut or none transition in Apple's Keynote, both for the Mac and for the iPad. We'll start with the Mac first. You want to open up Apple's Keynote on your Mac. And then I've got a title slide set in here. But I want to show you a quick little hack for adding full screen photos all at once instead of one at a time. And then we'll show you the transition. So I have uh, a finder window open with five photos on it. I can do Command A to select all, or I can click and drag my mouse over all five of those. I already know these are 16 by nine images. And so when I drag them over here to Keynote and drop them, they now drop in here as full screen images on Keynote. Now in Keynote, if you open it up and you see your slide navigator over here on the left, and your slide in the center, and that's all you see, we need to see our inspector in order to add the animation. And so you can click up here to animate if you have that in your toolbar, or you can go view, inspector, animate. And now this is where you would add an effect. For the cut or none transition, we simply want each slide to go from one to the next with no animation. You see this in movies, you see this in, in videos, where it simply goes from one scene to the next and nothing um, is animating between the two scenes. If you go over here and it says no transition effect, you're all set, you're ready to go. If for some reason something's been set up, maybe there's a dissolve or something else is in there, you wanna take that away and make it a cut, you go up to change and choose none. You won't find cut in there. And now when you go to play your presentation, It'll simply cut from one slide to the next. And that's how you set up the cut transition on Apple Keynote for the Mac. iPad is very similar. So we'll go over here to our iPad, open up Apple Keynote. And again, I have um, one slide already set up with my title slide, but I also want to add some photos. Well, there's a shortcut on here too. If you uh, are in Keynote and you go down and bring up side-by-side -side Apple Photos. Here I have those same five photos. I can tap Select, and I can drag these over into the inspector. Now each of these are a full slide. Now when I add animation, I have a button up here in my toolbar for that. If you don't have that, it's real simple. I'm also gonna show you a little hack here. I wanna set up the transition for all of them to be the same. And so I can tap on it and choose select all. Now all my slides are selected. Again, tap on it again and choose transition here. If it simply says add transition for the cut, you're all set, it's ready to go. If you come in here and a different transition has been applied, you simply go down to the bottom, tap on it, and choose delete. And as long as it says add transition, you're all set. You can hit done. Now when we play our presentation, we'll see that it simply cuts or goes directly from one slide to the next. And that's how you set up the cut or none transition for Apple Keynote for iPad. That's the cut transition. There's other videos I have that will show you how to set up different transitions. And then I have a video in the description that will also show you general tips for how to use those transitions. Thank you.